Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting Incantation Unholy Massacre on Necroharmic Records. Oh yeah, we're listening to demo number one with the mighty Will Romer on vocals. I really like Incantation with Will on vocals, honestly. It's fucking sick. And this is a really, really sick comp right here. You get some early Incantation demos leading up to Onward to Golgotha and that lineup and everything. And you get live sets, rehearsals, it's fucking sick. Like, highly, highly recommended for fans of Incantation. This is kind of essential, actually, like, especially if you're one of those people that really, really love, like, demos and the early years of bands and whatnot, because this is something really, really special. This is pre-relapse records incantation, and it's fucking awesome. Like, seriously, getting to hear, like, you know, profanation with, like, Will on vocals, it's so fucking good. I, I love it. Incantation, Unholy Massacre on Necroharmic Records. Thank you so much. I didn't order this. This was just inside with my order, which I'm going to be pulling out right now because I am so fucking glad I found this. Because at first I was like, oh man, this has to be from Sweden, the shipping's gonna cost like my life, and then I'm like, wait, New York, holy shit, and $16.99, and then with shipping, the total was $20 for a double LP set of one of my favorite death metal bands from Sweden ever. And in my opinion, they're very underrated, but I'm talking about crematory and denial. This mini LP or EP, whatever you want to call it, to me is definitely, if not the best, down-tuned, heavy-as-fuck Swedish death metal release of the early 90s. And you get a special treat as well. As well as the original Crematory logo. You get all their demo material as well as some bonus tracks. So, there is a problem here with some of the demo material. But first, let's just talk about how fucking good Denial is. Now, in case you've never heard Denial, Denial's one of those EPs mini LPs, whatever you want to call it, that to me has had a very profound impact on modern death metal. And when you hear this, you will completely understand what I'm talking about. And crematory play a style of like down-tuned Swedish death metal that is not at all kind of what you're probably expecting awesome art on here and stuff and it's pretty cool too they give you two different colored LPs which it's definitely a sick thing but I'm sure it's probably cheaper to do to just randomly like you know oh I want like a hundred red C and D sides and a hundred gray A and B sides but it doesn't matter and side C and D are on trans red. Again, just like some awesome hand drawn art. Old school as fuck. Filthy as fuck as well. And the main cover of Denial just reeks of old school death metal and the 90s. I love it. Not the biggest fan of the newer crematory logo, but it doesn't matter. But that fucking massive dude is petting his dead dog. 
I love how just 90s this looks. It's fucking sick. And it's fucking amazing is what it is, really. The Denial Mini LP from 1992 is just so good. And you also get all the demo material from like 1989 all the way to 1992. But therein lies the problem. Because it's it starts out with the Denial Mini LP, which sounds absolutely devastatingly heavy. It's It sounds great. It's perfect. But then things work their way backwards. You start things off with the 1990 demo, and then it ends with the 1992 demo, instead of going from the EP from 92, and then the demo from 92, they went the opposite way. And that actually does affect the listening here. Because after you get your fucking face ripped off by the Denial Mini LP, that just takes up the A side of things. On the B side of things, you have the Exordium demo from 1990. Which is demo number one. And I'm sorry, but it sounds like someone just got a wet blanket, threw it on top of the mixer, and was like, okay, we're done. It sounds like shit. And I love demos. Like, I really do. Like, I, I really, really love demos i understand it's a demo and everything but like it's next to unlistenable like all it is is like this loud tape hiss and it's like i don't know it really really like at first i was like well at least i have denial and denial sounds great but the exordium demo yeah i'm sorry Crematory and Necroharmic. It's just, I don't know what the hell happened to that demo mix, but when it comes to Wrath from the Unknown, demo number two from 1991, which has a rehearsal track from 1990 on it. Okay, now that's the fucking Crematory I love. Rap from the Unknown is such a killer, crushing demo that's influence has reached so many fucking bands, like, oh my god, it's seriously amazing. Take my word on it, it's amazing. And then things close off with an even gnarlier demo that is Netherworlds of the Mind, Demo 3 from 1992 which also has the Mortal Torment promo bonus track from 1989. So, as you can see, it kind of jumps all over the place, but fuck yeah when it comes to the Wrath from the Unknown demo, Netherworlds of the Mind demo, and the Denial Mini LP, which is why I bought this to begin with, because it fucking rules. And does that logo look familiar at all to you? Because I will show you Crematory's influence right now. Look a tad bit familiar. But if you're a fan of like Swedish death metal, like in general, you're probably gonna love this. Like, but especially if you're a fan of bands like Abhorrence, Grave, Convulse, Womb Bath, Undergang, Sadistic Intent, fucking, even like Cathelus, Epitaph, Nihilus, the list goes on. Hell, Time Ghoul, Autopsy, and I would even say there's parts on here that sound like Frenolith, but vocally, that's the thing. Crematory has these vocals that are just like so. So, in my opinion, ahead of everyone else in Swedish death metal during this time period. Like, 
most bands were doing that at the gates. Uh, I can't do a good, like, go, yeah. Or like, you know, even early Nihilist does not get this fucking brutal. Crematory do what they do best here on Denial, and that is play fucking crushing, down-tuned Swedish death metal. Before it was a trend or anything like that, Crematory fucking bury you alive with riff after riff after riff. This is so fucking good. I bought this for the Denial mini LP. The demos are a bonus. It really is a bummer about the one demo. It's just the one that's like legit unlistenable. And it is what it is. Like, you know, it's 1990. It's a demo rip onto an LP that's not done by Ted Crypt. In my opinion, Ted Crypt is the man to go to when it comes to this type of a release. But whoever remixed and whoever fucking remastered or remixed Denial, you killed it. You seriously killed it. The mix is loud. It's nasty sounding. It's fucking great. I loved it. And I was a little nervous though as soon as I threw the B-side on, but once, you know, the B-side was over and it was time for Beneath the Crips on Wrath of From the Unknown, I knew I was I knew I was safe. Thank you Crematory, but one thing that also is kind of a bummer here is the lack of information. You get, I have one behind me, one show flyer, which is real badass. It has like, Dismember, Merciless, and a couple other bands. While this flyer has Entombed, Grave, Crematory, uh... I always fuck this band's name up from Finland, but they're awesome. Uh, Exisma, you know what I mean, and Abhoff, but Zizma, or however you pronounce it, X Y S M, whatever. They're fucking sick Finnish death metal, but that's all you really get. And I thought this was pretty cool. With grotesque and uh, carbonized, but like disco and thrash gala, like I just thought that was cool. That that came inside of it, even though it has nothing to do with crematory. It's still badass, and they threw in that fucking incantation, unholy massacre comp, which is sick. So, hails to Necroharmic Records and hails to crematory for creating such amazing music during such an awesome period of death metal. Even though this may be, you know, kind of an underground gem, I really feel like those of you who are in the know know who Crematory are, but just in case you don't and you're new to Swedish death metal, yo, you are covered here with denial. Check this out. I will put Bandcamp links below and enjoy this shit out of the mini LP and these demos because they are amazing pieces of death metal history. And this is a band I always feel like they deserved more attention, especially after this amazing EP, but it never happened. They never had a full-length record. This is the closest you are going to get for for a full length record from Crematory. You get the Denial EP and all the demos. So, pretty essential for fans of Swedish death metal and for fans of Crematory. But we were blasting this amazing comp, Incantation, Unholy Massacre, all the early Incantation stuff your fucking ears can handle evil, dirty, awesome stuff. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hills. And thank you so much, Necroharmic Records.